Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make an animation toggleable. If you don't understand what that means, that pretty much it means when, like, say you're playing a game, right? And maybe it's in a UI or something, like a little button or something. You press, you press the uh, button, and then your player, like, you know, plays an animation, but not like a, not like an action animation, not like a, like an attack or something. Like a player is just standing, like like a standing animation. If you understand what I'm saying, right? But then if you were to press the key again, the animation would stop playing, right? Or another example would be like say in certain games where if you majority of games have it where you hold shift, you can run, but say say for example with some games i know um you press you just press shift once and you're able to continue sprinting and then if you press it again you'll stop sprinting that's probably a better example that's pretty much what i'm about to show you guys how to do so let's just let's get straight into it okay so first things first let's head on over to stutter player and let's insert a local script into stutter player scripts we can go ahead and name this animation toggleable script then we can delete print hello world we're gonna need to make about five variables. First, we're gonna get the local player. So local layer oh, player is equal to game dot players dot local player. Then we're gonna get the user input service. Local UIS is equal to game get service user input service. Then we're gonna go to the next line and we're gonna create the animation. Local animation is equal to instance dot new animation. Then we're going to set the animations ID. So animation dot animation ID is equal to quotation marks RBX asset ID colon two forward slashes. Then here you would paste your ID, right? I have my ID, so you guys can test with mine. But just to let you guys know, um, this ID only works if you're using R6. So say if you're testing, make sure you're like you don't necessarily have to use R6 animations, but I'm just saying like if you want to test using my animation, switch over to R6 just so you can test because it wouldn't matter if you're using R6 or R15. The point is, regardless of what you're testing on, it'll still the script. You're just testing to see if the script works itself. Depending on if the animation is R6 or R15, will determine if whether or not the animation will play. But yeah, if you're using R6, then don't worry about what I'm talking talking about. Then we're gonna make two last variables. So we're gonna make local animation toggled and we're going to of course by default set it to false we're going to set this to true and false uh with some if statements when we get into the actual function then for the last variable we're not going to assign it a value we're going to say local animation track we're making this a global variable because i need to be able to reference this later on in the script i need to be able to play the animation track as well as stop the animation track right so let's get into the actual function. Skip two lines and we'll say UIS that input began connect function in parentheses put input. Then you're gonna say if input dot user input type is equal to enum dot user input type dot keyboard is equal to if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code dot I'm gonna go with E. I'm just go with E. You guys can choose whatever uh you guys can choose whatever you want like maybe you, you want to have an animation play when like you want to have an idle animation play like i don't know um when a person clicks their mouse you could change this and delete this or if you want to use the q key the m key the n key whatever you would just change that right here now getting into the actual thing we're going to make an if and an else if statement so first we're going to say if animation toggled is equal make sure you do two equal signs is equal to false then we're going to go to the next line then of course we're going to change this value to the opposite so animation toggle is equal to true we are then going to set the animation track so animation track is equal to player dot character dot this one not autofill by the way so make sure you type this correctly humanoid colon load animation then you put the animation in parentheses and then on the next line we're going to say animation track colon play you can play the animation Boom. Now we're now we're gonna get into the else if statement. So we're gonna go right here and say else if animation toggled is equal to true. Enter right. Then we're gonna say animation toggled is e equal to false. We're gonna set it to value equal to false because we're gonna return the player back to whatever the default um idle animation is. And then we're gonna say animation track stop. Boom. Just like that it is that simple we've already finished it only took like two minutes to type up the script let's go ahead and test go ahead and click play 
and then okay i'm gonna press the e key this is my regular animation if i press e as you guys can see i got like an i got this animation from the toolbox is like a kind of idle kind of like fist animation and stuff if i walk around you guys can obviously see the animation is still playing and then if i stop you guys can yeah, you guys see like my arms are kind of moving like my body's kind of going up and down pause but anyway um if i press e again however boom the animation stops uh, and then i'm just you know back to regular default animations press e boom press it off it just keeps toggling on and off so yeah that's how you make a toggle animation this video was requested to me a while ago to be honest actually i've been asked this honestly a couple times to be rude y'all a lot of people have commented on my animation because i made like a lot of videos regarding like animation scripting so a lot of people have asked about this so yeah i hope this video was helpful to all those people that were wondering and yeah if it was leave a like and subscribe uh links to join my roblox group and discord can be found in the description if you guys ever need help with any of my videos or you just generally want um you, or you generally just want to be informed of like sneak peeks or like polls stuff i do do some polls on youtube but i also do some polls in discord so you guys can join the discord you can also request videos in the discord and if you're interested in getting the script or any of my other scripts or models you guys can become a channel member by pressing the join button next to the subscribe button and yeah thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one